It's time to gear up for an adventure around New York City. Time Out New York is filling your social calendar with the hottest things to do, coolest places to go, and people you've got to meet. So sit back, relax, and don't miss this. Welcome to Don't Miss This. I'm Lauren Scala from Time Out New York. Imagine a place where you could roam freely amongst giant pieces of art, where you could touch it, play with it, or even become a part of it. This place exists and we're taking you there today. It's on Governor's Island and goes by the name Figment. I'm here with David Corin, who's the executive producer of Figment. David, let's check this place out. Absolutely, let's go for a run. Okay. David, what is Figment? Well, um, Figment has become a lot of things, but Figment, in the heart of Figment is a participatory arts event which means that it's a large-scale collaborative arts event in which everyone's welcome to come and participate and bring their art. Okay, we're doing great, guys. We're doing good. 20 feet, we are there. To the left, to the left. I came out here for the first time in 2005 when they were first starting to open it up again to the public after it had been a governor's island, a Coast Guard, uh, Army base, and a Coast Guard base, and it had been closed. And, um, and just saw it and thought, what, what are we going to do to make, what, what can this place be? And the idea of doing art out here just became, you know, it sort of seemed like the natural thing to do because you can't live out here. By the deed, nobody could live there. So seeing Governor's Island and what it offered actually inspired Figment? Absolutely. Figment is, is intrinsic to Governor's Island. There are about 400 projects this year of every, in every discipline. Um, you know, sculptures, installations, performance, music. Um, and we have, a, we have an open call for art that we send out in, in the early part of the year, um, in January. And we solicit from all over to get people to bring out their work. And we try to make every piece of work as participatory as it can be. So like painters will say, will, will, painters and photographers will submit their work and say, you know, we want to bring it to Figment and, and hang them on the wall. And we'll say, well, how, do, how can you make that interactive? Can you have, work with the audience to create, to create the piece, to build it in some way? Can you, um, you know, can you uh, solicit audience feedback in some way? So Jen, you're the artist behind Temple of Wonder. Tell me how you came up with it. Well, last year's piece was very serious. Um, it was called Temple of Truth, and I was also the artist for that piece. And I just thought, since our times have changed, that we needed to kind of think positive about the next life. So through that, I just was like, wow, would it be so cool if we went into our own star? You know, as a little girl, I've always wanted to go to space and be my own star. And it's great because it's a way that you can not worry about the future. You can create your own future and you can wonder in a beautiful, positive way. Why is it important for an artist to be part of something like Figment? What attracted you to it? There's not enough beautiful adjectives to describe it. it it's, there's nothing like it. And you just feel like all this love and positivity and beauty. And even if you feel like you're not an artist, you are an artist. It forces you to think positive and beautiful of yourself. Like you come to the star and you can write your name and that makes you an artist. And how wonderful is that to come to an environment and just not only feel good about yourself, but be around all this beautiful magic. I want to write something on the wall in here and then I oh, want to oh, see please, more. Yeah. Please do. Oh, I like please. pink. Pink? Oh, pink <laughs> looks like you. Pink, wow. <laughs> what do you guys think? You'll never believe what I'm going to write. <laughs> it looks it's a like great a lot of question. fun, but how is it art? It's a great question. What we're about is taking that moment of creativity, that spark that you get when you create something, and taking it out of the studio and bringing it into right now. Right now is art. We're making art right now. So the mo the creativity that's going into the, the role play and the and the play that these people are doing, I mean, look at the joy on their faces. It's not just play. This is art. This is this is a, pro a project that the creators have created as an environment who would come and enjoy themselves and play and create. How can people get here to see the art? Well, it's a free ferry. I mean, it's a free ferry from Brooklyn or Manhattan. Um, on the weekends, Saturday and Sunday, the free ferry from Manhattan is every 30 minutes, and uh, from Brooklyn it's every 20 minutes. And can you day. also take the water taxi here? The water taxi does run here. I'm not sure what the schedule is, but it, it comes here because water taxi beach is here on the island. That's right. And once you get off the ferry, how much does it cost to see something like Figment? Well, Figment's totally free. I mean, everything we do is, is uh, totally free as a matter of principle. We, uh, we're, we're an entirely volunteer organization that does this for the love of it as a gift to New York, and uh, 
we want everybody to participate in it. So it's totally free. Um, we're funded by donations and grants. It's time to play some mini golf. This is something that's going to be here all summer, right? Absolutely. It's October 3rd. Is each piece designed by an individual artist, or did one artist do this entire? Oh, no. It's each, each hole is designed by a different artist, or more, more commonly, a group of artists that get together to do the hole. Because it's a, you know, it's a lot of work and engineering yes. to really figure out how to design a mini golf hole. Craving some more art? Up next, we're going to walk like an Egyptian over to Times Square for an exhibit that has been a few thousand years in the making.